Hi guys, I'm Cordy and I am breaking out today. I'm breaking out of my sketchbook, trying a new medium and that is oil paint. I'm usually more fond of the water-based art supplies and also the dry ones like pastel crayons as you can see here. I do have a couple of landscapes in my sketchbook but they're always not real ones. They're always sort of fantasy out of this world kind of things. I'm not really into real landscapes so I thought it would be fun to pick one of my landscapes that are already in my sketchbook and paint it in oil. So I'm gonna pick this one and here is how it went. So I got started with the background mixing up my oil paint with this spirit stuff which smells really bad <laughs> but hey I kept going and I have to say oil paint is really nice to blend it's super smooth Here I switched over from the brush using the palette knife as seen on Bob Ross. Experimenting with the oil paint I worked my way from the foreground to the background, which is not a great idea. So if you try it, go from the background to the foreground, that's much easier to do. Oil paint is really nice to mix and blend, but what I've learned doing this, as you can see, it's a good idea to do all the mixing and blending on the palette first and then transfer the paint onto the canvas or onto the paper. I was mixing the paint here on the paper or on the canvas paper and it comes out a bit dirty looking almost so that's something not to do don't blend your colors on the page adding details is also a bit tricky in oil paint because the lines are not very sharp. They're always kind of blurry at the edges, which is great for creating shadows and blending. But if you want a really nice sharp line, I think you have to be a very experienced oil painter to make that happen. I think the biggest issue for me with the oil paint was that sometimes it was just too dry and I couldn't really get a nice even surface. But if you're someone who loves that type of texture, then by all means, if you haven't, try out oil paint because there's a lot of room to play.
as you can see here when it comes to blending the colors oil paint is really nice and easy to work with Now here you can see I changed the foreground a little bit. I got rid of my palette knife technique and made it a bit smoother. I found it kind of takes away the attention from those little vines in my galactic mushrooms. So here it is a bit smoother. That's another good thing about oil paint. It stays wet. So you can just go in and change things around, move the paint around. That's, that's quite good and interesting to do as I do here, I started with my galactic mushroom in the back here a bit too dark. So just going over with the lighter colors kind of blends it into the background a bit more. Now this was a bit of a fatal mistake trying to go into the background again trying to darken it but um, I think I got away with a black eye. Trying to create a little bit of a mist here on the back mountains. I think if I had a choice, I would rather use pastels for this. It's quite difficult to create that sort of thinness on the thick oil paint. I guess you would have to wait to let it dry, but I have no patience for that. So maybe oil paint is not the right medium for me, but it's still fun to mess around and play around with it. Like in the original, I added a couple of details, extra details into the painting, the red planets on the top left and the small little tentacles coming out of the mushroom and a little group of people standing on the rocks. That was really difficult to do because it's so hard to create these really, really fine lines. Like I said, lots of practice for that. Now the most satisfying part getting rid of the masking tape around the edges and here it is my very first oil painting i hope you like the process and watching that at the end it's not always about the outcome but having fun on the way if you enjoyed this please like and subscribe usually i stick within the bounds of my sketchbook only sometimes i break out but i would love to draw and go on an adventure with you so see you soon bye